Hey everybody, uh, today I am wearing this really sweet t-shirt with the sleeves cut off. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm also installing a uh, IAG air oil separator here. Um, so I was running on my, uh, ugh, on my WRX, I was running a uh, Grimspeed air oil separator, which is a really cool design. It just goes on the uh, oil fill and it's like a little baffle and stuff, but it's, it's not as, um, I don't know. It's, it's not as serious as this. And now that I have a, uh, bottom end with forged pistons and stuff, uh, there will probably be more blow by. And that's an important thing on turbo engines, engines in general, but turbo engines, you don't want a whole lot of blow by and oil getting into your uh, intake because then your engine burns the oil. That's the idea instead of it like going into the atmosphere. Um, but your engine reburns it and that lowers your uh, octane, which may cause detonation. So uh, this thing conveniently bolts up right down in here. Uh, let's see if I can get, yeah. So there's this little bracket bolts up there uh, underneath the brake lines. You have to bend the brake lines up and back slightly. Um, you can't quite see, there's a tiny bit of daylight between it and the bottom line here, but I think it's gonna be, eh, make sure I've got it angled the right way. I think that's gonna be okay. Um, there's two coolant lines from the air oil separator. This is the upper coolant line that goes to the top of the expansion tank. Then there's a lower coolant line that goes onto the turbo hard pipe right here. So basically like stock or factory, there was a coolant line that just went from the expansion tank to the turbo. So the air oil separator just hops in there in between the two of them. And then that gives heat to it, which helps to um, uh, keep the oil from sticking and uh, building up in there, it will get it to actually drain. This is the drain hose coming off the bottom of it. I don't actually know where that goes yet. Uh, I assume down here, I'll see if I can actually uh, get in here. It's this little uh, drain going down into the block. That uh, earlier on in the process, you have to pull the stock piece up off of there and then slide that ha uh, half inch, no, larger than half inch, uh, something, three quarter inch drain pipe onto that. Um, one interesting tricky thing that I'm gonna, is probably useful here. So, um, hi, uh, the PCV valve is down on these cars. So this, the IAG doesn't make a system for early WRXs. So even though I have a built motor and I was running a engine from an 05 in here, um, I've still got the intake manifold and everything off that was original, that was from the 02. So uh, in their instructions, it says to um, pull off the PCV valve, that there's a whole PCV valve assembly and stuff like that down here where the drain into the block is. My motor didn't have that uh, on, I believe it's the O2 and O3s. Uh, there's a fitting on the bottom of the throttle body and that's where it goes. I don't know if the PCV valve is inside of the throttle body or my car just doesn't have a PCV valve, which is entirely possible because this thing is all sort of a Frankenstein. But um, the hose that comes with the kit is this uh, 3 eighths. You can make sure, yeah, this is 3 eighths hose, but the fitting, can't see it really. It's the little metal fitting, it says 70 on it down there underneath the throttle bottle body, underneath the uh, hose that goes up to the bypass valve for the, the turbo, for the uh, turbo inlet. So that little metal fitting, that is like half inch. So the IAG supplied line doesn't fit on that. 
So what I did, I took the factory hose that was on there that just went, uh, I don't even know what the hell, oh, right, the that went over to the little drain down into the block. So I took that factory hose that fit onto that half inch fitting and I just jammed the three eighths inch hose all the way down into it. So it's the, the hose goes, the three eighths inch hose goes all the way down in here. So I don't think there's any possibility that it's going to come out of there, but that allows it to fit securely onto the um, half inch fitting on the throttle body that you need to have it on. Um, that's the only thing I've run into so far. Everything else has been super straightforward. I'm gonna go back to finishing this up now because I wanna be able to drive my car. A little bit closer, uh, I've installed the drain hose here, this, this guy. So this goes from uh, that drain hose down there that I was pointing out earlier, the drain hose into the block. This, you actually cut a piece off of it, put this 90 degree fitting in it, and then uh, put the rest of it onto here, and then you run it over to the half inch uh, fitting down there. So that's what drains from the AOS down into the block, all of the blow by, all the oil. That, it collects. Okay, almost done. Uh, I just connected this breather line here from the front of the motor to the upper port up there. And then um, there's this, uh, what is this called? I don't know what this is. Uh, on the, let's see if, uh, wait, let me get the light. I have a light. So there's this little thing down here that's blocked off. There's a little just nipple on it there. Um, let's see if I can balance the light and this guy right, right there. Um, so that was blocked off as part of my, uh, Grimspeed air oil separator. Uh, but in this case, it gets connected to the one of the top ports on the IAG uh, air oil separator. Uh, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah, the one little thing. So my trick with that 3 8 line with the PCV valve in it that goes to the nipple underneath the throttle body. Uh, because I had it jammed into the original uh, factory line fitting, short short line that went on, breather line that went on to the valve on the throttle body. Um, it was way too long, so I just had to pull it back off, trim the IAG supplied 3 8 inch hose, jam it back into the breather hose, put it back on the nipple, and that's all good now. Um, so I've just got to connect this one last thing, and then I'll show you what it looks like all done. And uh, seems like it was totally easy and nothing complicated about doing this on an earlier car that it wasn't necessarily designed for. So there you go. Problem I was just running into was the Y pipe on the back of my intercooler interfering with these new lines down here. So I think now I'm really hopeful that I just got pushed them down here in this gap next to the intercooler bracket here and that there will be enough room for uh, for the Y pipe to fit onto the uh, outlet of the turbo there. So hopefully this works. Okay, I took it back out. Um, it, it turns out it was not the things down here interfering with the Y pipe, although they may have been. Now this hose here, um, this hits the bottom of the intercooler and that is interfering with it. So now I need to try and rearrange that somehow but I don't know that I have a long enough piece of hose for that so I'm gonna get creative now all right now I don't even know what number try this is I'm using used half uh, used 5 8 inch line from the IAG kit or un unused 5 8 inch. Um, I put that onto the nipple on the underside of the throttle body down in there that you can't see because there, right? That little 70 looking thing. 
and then snaked the PCV valve line into it. So I'm going to try again and see whether there is um, clearance for my Y pipe. Okay, I think it's all done now. Um, I ended up, I had to, uh, uh, I had to cut the drain hose and shorten it so that um, it dropped the like Y fitting and everything down a little bit lower and that helped um, and then I just kept on reaching around underneath the intercooler and trying to feel what was interfering underneath there and so I've got it pretty satisfactory so the hood will close now uh, I think I am gonna get some washers and raise the hood latches up a tiny bit that'll help give me a little bit more room and I'm gonna need to go and get another longer piece of I forget what that is five eighths or something um, line to go from down there from the breather over to the air oil separator anyway uh, good enough to drive around now at least so uh, I hope this was useful I hope this was some whatever something useful information about installing a IAG AOS on a um, earlier WRX with my turbo piece heat shield down there anyway all right